Good morning, everybody. Today is the 33rd segment of our Think Before You Speak series, Shminat HaLashon with Clarity. Lilu Nishmat HaChafetz Chaim, Zechet Tzadik Lebracha. Lilu Nishmat Luz Aliza Bat Hanriet, and her children that passed in the fire. As well, this would be a great zechut for the Yeshuot and the Shefa, for our Bnei Chabura, for Klal Yisrael. And this should also, these halachot should be dedicated for the great Pranasa, Yeshua Gedola, and Epsurot Tovot, Shmira, the Chaim Davido Mechaisar. The name of today's halachot, the title, is Speaking Innocently. Now think of this for a minute. If you're sitting with people and there's someone who really innocently starts slipping back and reminiscing about stuff of their past, especially their childhood, younger years, and they're just, you know, telling over stories of what they remember as growing up, speaking very innocently. And amongst those stories, they start telling over incidents that start to portray certain people in a negative way. Like they say over, uh, oh yeah, and then this person got kicked out of camp, or this person got kicked out of yeshiva. But they're talking not to hurt the person. It's very clear. They're speaking innocently, just reminiscing and thinking back and remembering the old days. Is that considered Lashon Hara, where you're not allowed to listen, nor to accept or believe the information is true or not? In the Gemara, we call this Messiah Lefitumo, which means the person is telling over a story, or they are recounting information, or an incident that portrays someone in a very negative light, but they have no intention to speak bad or to degrade the person or to instigate even. They're just simply telling over, you know, old stories. Nonetheless, although it's debatable in the Gemara if this is Lashon Hara or not to believe, halachically speaking, one is not allowed to listen or to believe any of the information of Lashon Hara that's spoken, even if it's given over and spoken innocently. Even Masiach Lefitumo, that information of Lashon Hara, you cannot listen, nor can you believe is true. It's very interesting, the Tana, Rabbi Lezer Hagadol, he told his son, <clears throat> don't even sit amongst a group of people that's gossiping. Don't even sit there. Don't even sit amongst a group of people that are slanderers, because while they speak, their words go up to Shamayim, and they come in front of Kiseh HaKavod, and those words are recorded. And the entire group of people sitting there are written down as a group of evildoers. Stay far away, even innocently. Have a good day.